In a previous video, I showed you how to set up the Facebook Pixel uh, into your website. Well, I just upgraded to Google Tag Manager, which is a better way to add these type of tags to your website. So let's show you how to add your Facebook Pixel to your Google Tag Manager. You'll be good to go. The first place to start is Google Tag Manager. So you want to log into your Google Tag Manager, which you can find at tagmanager.google.com. And then you are going to add a new tag. So I'm going to click on add a new tag. And we are going to title this the Facebook or FB pixel tag. Okay, so that's, so that's what we're going to give it as a name. Next thing we want to do is do the tag configuration. So we'll click on that. Google does not, uh, or Facebook does not have a specific tag listed here. So the one that we are going to use is a custom HTML tag. So we'll go ahead and select that. In this area, this is where you are going to paste your Facebook pixel. So now opening up a new tab. We will go to the uh, Facebook ad manager and I am going to go to where it says all tools and under measure and report, that's where you can find the pixels. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And here is my the specific uh, pixel that I'm looking for or my uh, Stan Scrabbits pixel. So I'll, I'll click on that. And over on the right hand side, you have setup. So go ahead and click on that, brings up a window, and what you want is manually install the code yourself. So you select that, scroll down to item number two, and you can click and copy that to your clipboard. And I will then click on continue, and return back, oh, I click done, sorry, click done and then go back to the Google Tag Manager. And this is where I will then paste as plain text, there is the code. So that's that part. The next thing is you have to do the triggering for this. So we'll fire the trigger and basically I'm gonna select all pages. I'll click on all pages and that is good to go and I will save it. So now I have a new Facebook pixel tag that is gonna fire on every page and I'm pretty happy with that. So the next thing I need to do is I can preview it if I wished, but I am confident that it will work as advertised. So I'm just going to simply submit. And this is gonna be, uh, this is for my blog site. And I will put in the date, which is the 11th of Feb, 2018. And I will say publish. And now I have two tags that are on the site, a Google Analytics tag and a Facebook Pixel tag. I can go to one of my websites or that particular website to make sure it works. And I found one Pixel. So what I need to do just to verify this or, or finish everything I need to do is go to my plugins and I had a specific plugin that I was using and I'm going to go ahead and deactivate that. And the only thing that it was running was uh, that particular, the, the Facebook pixel. So let me refresh this and see if it works. And the good news is the Facebook pixel is still there. So um, I'm in good shape. What I need to do now is, is return to my plugins and finally delete this particular plugin. It's not good to have plugins that you're really not uh, using or planning to use. And that is how you add a Facebook pixel to Google Tag Manager. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up below. If you have any comments that you would like to add uh, or any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, go ahead and add those to the comment sections. And if you're not a subscriber, I would encourage you to subscribe. But most importantly, I would like to thank you for taking time to watch this video. And I, I wish you well in your business.